Hi. This is Hassan and today I am going to tell you how to make a simple CNC drawing machine. I would request you to watch the complete video and I am sure at the end of this video you will be able to make one for yourself. Please subscribe to the channel as I am already working on many exciting projects so you will be able to watch all the videos regularly moreover it gives a lot of encouragement. So let's start the assembly now. These are the major parts required to make this machine I will attach the list and STL files for 3D printed parts you can download it from the description. First of all took aluminium 2040V slot profile cut to the length of 350mm. Two 3D printed Y axis side brackets, insert M4 10mm and M4 20mm screws with M4 hammer drop T nuts. Now mount the NEMA 17 motor on Y-axis motor bracket with the help of M3 15mm screws. Insert the 2040 profile gently inside the bracket in such a way that hammer drop nuts are aligned with side slots, use little filling or a butane torch if profile is not going inside the bracket. Repeat the same process for other side bracket. Now install the GT220 teeth pulley on motor and GT2 idler pulley on opposite side with the help of M5 30mm screw, some washers, and a lock nut. So our Y axis is ready now. Now took X-axis top plate and a GT2 6mm belt of length 850mm, install the belt in a way you can see in video. Clamp the belt with the help of 50mm zip ties. Now insert the M5 50mm socket head screws from the top. Put a washer on 7mm hole side for better grip. Now flip the whole frame and insert 6mm spacers on one side and eccentric nut on the other side. One millimeter shim spacer for each. Insert the wheel now. Again 1mm shim spacer, 6mm spacers and eccentric nuts as we have done below the wheels. Put the x-axis bottom plate and tight the M5 lock nuts. Tight the screws after adjusting the eccentric nuts. Y carriage should move smoothly. Cut down the extra zip tie. Mount the NEMA 17 stepper on X-axis motor bracket with the help of M3 10mm screws. Now mount the X-axis motor on 400mm 2020V slot profile with the help of 10mm M4 screws and 4mm hammer drop nuts. Mount the pen holder on slider with M5 20mm screw and a lock nut tighted enough that it cannot rotate easily. Now put the clamp spring in place press the front part to align the holes and insert a M5 25mm socket head screw, tight it with M5 lock nut. For the X carriage assembly, insert M5 25mm screws in X carriage. 6mm spacers on upper screws and eccentric nut on bottom screw. 
Now mount the MG90 servo motor. Insert 3.5mm smooth rods from the bottom. Place the 4mm spring on right rod and let the rod pass through the spring. So our X carriage is ready now. Slide the X carriage on 2020 profile as shown. Now mount the X-axis idler pulley with the help of M5 25mm screw and a lock nut. Insert M4 12mm screws and M4 hammer drop nut on screws. Now mount the idler pulley bracket as shown. Installed the GT2 6mm belt of length 900mm from one end, Pass it over motor and idler pulleys, and clamp on X carriage with the help of zip tie, then cut the extra belt. Move idler pulley outward for tensioning the belt and tight it on place where it has enough tension. Insert M5 15mm socket head screws with hammered drop M5 nuts in Y axis bottom plate and place it over the X axis to join both axis. So our mechanical assembly is ready now. I am using 12mm aluminium angle to mount the machine on a 20mm chipboard sheet. I am not going into the details of wiring and coating. Simply using Arduino Uno with a CNC shield and two A4988 stepper drivers. GRBL 1.1H code is already uploaded in Arduino. I am using OpenBuild software to control the machine and Inkscape software to generate the G-code. This is a simple hatch fill running. You can play with different types of codes like outline and text as well it all depends on your creativity. At the end I would request you again to please subscribe the channel like the video. Thanks for watching.